good morning. Good morning. Hello. You have a little sleep in the sun. Good morning, guys. Actually, look disgusting. You know what I've realised? I've got really bad eye bags. So if anyone's got any tips on how to get rid of them, please let me know. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged in so long, but I just really wanted to this weekend. Not that I'm doing anything, but you know. The weather outside today is actually feels like summer. Look, it's blue skies. I actually have no plans for the day. There's a new viral TikTok drink that's from Starbucks. I can't even remember what it's called. It's like the man... No. Tropical... I think it's like mango and tropical lemonade. I don't really know. I'll find the recipe later and show you. But yeah, I might try and get that. But I have no idea where our nearest Starbucks is. Be it I was Oak's going to drive because I can't sit in the car still. I do still have a bad back so there's not really like a lot we can do like I can't go out and get into the pit because I can't just do like my normal stuff and it's just so boring even though I've had all this time off work I'm like yay time off work but I've just been sat literally lying down in bed doing nothing so but yeah I thought I'd do a little weekend vlog we've got some really exciting cookie dough that we're going to try later cookie dough is literally my favourite dessert and yeah I think that's pretty much it I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow either probably nothing but you will see. I've come to the realisation that I do this way too much. Like, in all my videos, I have to crop out the amount of times I actually go like this. So, I'm going to try myself to not do that anymore. Oak is currently outside playing basketball in the garden. And I think I'm going to make breakfast. Ten points if you can guess what breakfast is going to be. Eggs on toast. We're going to put some makeup on today. We're not going to slob and be in bed. We're going to make ourselves feel human for the first time all week. And put some makeup on this face. Not loads, though. I feel like I'm just going to do something like... Mm, I always say I'm going to do something light and then put on a full face anyway. But I just can't sit in this chair for more than like half an hour without having to lie down. <laughs> that is the problem. So we've got half an hour to do something. There's just no, no better feeling than putting on moisturiser. Because you know when your face just feels very dry. I really need to wash my hair. I've been spraying it like this every day. For I don't know how long. I never have my hair down anymore. It just annoys me. I don't know if it's just, just me. But having my hair down I just can't cope with it. Especially while there's nowhere to go as well. Like, what am I going to have my hair down for to sit in bed? No. Got this new primer as well the other day. It's the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Got it from Superdrug. And the texture of it is so weird. It's actually like foam. Since being off work ill, all I've done is spend money on stuff that I definitely, I've definitely used too much by the way, that I don't need to spend money on. I'll show you all the stuff that I've bought. <laughs> I want like a CC cream so it's still got coverage but it's not as heavy as a foundation but I don't have one. So if you've got any recommendations for a CC cream, let a girl know. So I'm using the NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation in Stromboli. This is not my fave at the minute. Well, I don't really want to wear foundation, but I just... I'm a bit pale right now. Because when I wear fake tan, I never tan my face. I just feel like it's not a good combo on my face. So that just means I have to wear foundation all the time. I just put on a DJ EZ garage mix and it's just giving me summer vibes like the sun outside the sky is literally blue like i don't remember the last time i saw a blue sky and it just puts me in such a good mood i can't wait for june the 21st i'm going out and not coming home to be honest so another new thing that i've bought is this nyx can't stop won't stop concealer so on superdrug nyx had a deal where it was like spend 30 pound on nyx get 10 pound off so you get 30 pounds worth of stuff for 20 and this was 15 pound alone so i only wanted to get this so i thought i can't not spend the extra five pound and get a lot more stuff. My old concealer I was using was too light for me anyway, so I did need a new concealer. And this one's actually really good. It's not got a lot of coverage for my dry bags that are very dark. I'm just gonna carry on getting ready and then when I'm using something new, I will let you guys know. I wanted to show you this. So I bought this NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Truffle. And on the website, I look like it's gonna be like a nice dark brown, but it's more of like a pinky kind of vibe. So I'm not like, that's not my favorite. So I'm going to be using my Doll Beauty Diva Forever. But that one is Diva Forever. As you can see, it's a lot more of a brown than a nude. So I'm going to be using that. And then I also bought a NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Madeline. But again, it looked a lot more brown on the website. But it's giving me like pinky, pinky vibes, as you can see. So probably, again, not my cup of tea. But I also bought these. The list just goes on. I bought this full set of mini Fenty glosses. So this was on sale at Boots. So I bought these for Shan when she hit 2000 on YouTube. And then seeing them, I was just like, okay, I need them for myself. So it's like a little four set. So we've got Baby, it says Brut, I don't know if it's Brut or Brut. Taffy Teas, Cake Shake and Ruby Milk. Cake Shake is definitely my favourite, so I'm going to be using that today. But I have a £20 for four, I don't think that's bad. 
The only thing I don't want to happen is, you know when you've got stuff on your lips and you use lip gloss and the lip gloss goes all like, gross. These smell unreal as well, by the way. If they are still on the website, I will leave the link to them down below. Alright, so I'm going to finish getting ready. I'm going to do my hair and stuff. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. It really needs a wash, but... CBA. Anybody else hate washing their hair as much as me? Hmm. Look at the sun today. You literally can't even see Oak because it's that bright. But if I do this, you can't see me. So we're at Starbucks now. Oak's going to be an angel. I'm running. This is so bright. I'll get some mad drinking on. Yeah, I'll text you the list and I'll explain to you guys what it is after. But it's going around TikTok and it looks like a bit of me, doesn't it? Because it's got mango in it. I mean, I'm not really like a Starbucks drinker, so I thought I'd give it a try. Go for it. Do you reckon you like it? Yeah, I do, I think. What is it? Do you know it off the top of your head? No. He's going to bring it back and then we'll try it on camera. Is there anything gonna... nice from Starbucks that I'd like? Chocolate no? things. We don't drink coffee, you see, guys. We're not coffee drinkers. I don't know if they get like, um, do they like a choc surely like a chocolate milkshake kind of thing. They do like probably chocolate frappuccino. Yeah, can I that? Just have a look on the menu and say, oh, I will. here he is. Yours looks disgusting, you know. Um, by the way, they didn't have. I was gonna say, this isn't it, is it? No, it's not. What is it? That's a compromise. Why? There's no mango, no passion fruit. Oh, so what's this? Peach. Do you like peach? I don't, don't really know. I, really have, I haven't really tried anything peach, but I guess we've got peach. Well, looks whatever sick, this is. You know. I asked him to get me a plastic cup and then he's put his drink in my cup for some reason, but you know what? What's yours? Just to wash it. <laughs> Cookies and cream. Frappuccino. With no whipped cream. Nice. Alright, should we try it? Have you just tried yours? Yeah. Let me try mine. Actually nice. Is it? Mmm. Mmm. Try it. Mm -mm. Don't be a pussy clerk. Mm -mm. Have a sip, you'll like it. No. Taste like lemonade. I don't want to. Taste like lemonade. Yeah, that's alright. You bought it, guys. This is nice. Right, let's go home. That was our trip out for the day. These people are charging like £15 for their cups on Amazon, you know. What do you mean? That's £2.50. On Amazon, they're £15 to drink our Starbucks. Go ahead. This is like a summer drink as well. Oh, Hello guys. It's been a, like probably an hour since I last spoke to you because my back was really aching. So I laid in bed for the past hour. Finished my peach iced tea and it's actually unreal. I'm definitely going to go to Starbucks again but to try the actual mango and tropical one. Also look how depressed my flowers are. <laughs> I think it's time they go in the bin but you know when you just can't part with them because they're just... Are they beautiful anymore? No. <laughs> But I just want to quickly show you guys the delivery that I've had from, Go I think it's Gookie Dough. Gookie Dough. Go I keep going to say Cookie Dough. The team at Gookie Dough reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try some of their Cookie Dough. And if you know me, you guys know that Cookie Dough is my favourite dessert. So we are getting a takeaway tonight and then we're going to have these after dinner. And we will try them on camera so we can like tell you what we think and stuff like that. So the first one we've got is Red Velvet Cookie Dough. I've never tried anything Red Velvet. Sorry if you can hear the dogs. Um, but you can eat these raw or you can cook them. I think I'll probably cook them. That's what the red velvet one looks like. It smells unreal. It just smells like a cookie. Yeah, I'm going to put these in the fridge and then we're probably going to cook them later. And then the next one, I'm really excited for this one. This is Funfetti Cake Batter. So it's like birthday cake with sprinkles. I just love cookie dough. There you go. You can see the sprinkles in that one. And then we've got Gooey Chocolate Chip Classic. I feel like that's probably going to be my favourite to be honest because I just like plain cookie dough. And then we've got triple chocolate fudge. Oh my god. Mmm. And that's what that one looks like. So yeah, massive shout out to Gookie Dough. It feels weird saying Gookie Dough for sending those out to me. I'm really excited to try those and I do have a discount code for you guys. So if you want to order some cookie dough, they've got so many flavours on their website. Um, so these are just like four out of loads. Use the code SHANNON10 and that will save you 10% off. But yeah, we'll be trying these later after dinner. I'm so excited because I just love cookie dough. So now I'm just going to get back into bed and chill because I need to rest my back as much as I can because it's just not... Like I don't actually feel like it's getting any better. I'm literally taking Cocodamol. These are my best friend right now. Um, so yeah, I'm not like living off of these to try and make me better. But I just want to be like... I just want to be back to normal as much as I'm enjoying not going to work. It's like... I'm just sick of lying in bed all the time, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to get back into bed, chill, and I'm going to catch up on Married at First Sight Australia. When I mentioned that in my last vlog, a lot of you were like, yes, we're obsessed. And guys, 
still obsessed. I'll quickly, while I'm here, look at my cute little necklace that I've got. Wait, where's the little? I think I've got it on backwards, but how cute is this little necklace? It's like pearls, it's got green details and my initial. Um, and it's from a small business and we're all about supporting small businesses during corona and like times like this. So I'll leave that Instagram on the screen now. It's Jeweled by Elle, I'm pretty sure it is. But it's just like earrings, rings, necklaces, you name it. It's like cute little pearly, cute little jewellery. And I just think it looks so cute because it's got like gold detailing on it. It actually matches with the necklaces I've already got. So yeah, love that. If you want to go and support a small business, go shop from there because the quality is unreal. Like it's really nice. It feels really sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's on the snap. And I'm just in love with it. By the way, the peach tea gets a solid 9 out of 10. Just think the mango one would be a 10 out of 10, you know. We have to cook these in the oven for 8 to 12 minutes. So we're going to cook all of them. And do a taste all test. Yeah. Should we do all of them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's funny about all of them, but we're going to cook all of them. Right, we're going to cook these. Anyone that believes I can't cook, I'm all wrong. Chef Shazza. Healthy option. Or I like. One calorie per. That's correct. <laughs> cookie dough is looking like so this is the funfetti birthday cake one here's red velvet we've got milk chocolate and triple chocolate which one are you the most excited about this one the, the milk chocolate <laughs> i'm excited for the funfetti one with the sprinkles so we're gonna I'm give a, them all I'm a say it. all a try <laughs> i don't like red velvet <laughs> first one we're gonna try is the funfetti one with the sprinkles you can add ice cream if you want, but we're just going to go straight off the tray. This is what I'm most excited about. Go for it. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> That's nice. Mmm. You can taste the sprinkles in it. That's like more sweet than a normal cookie dough. I think that's going to be my favourite. Mmm. You get all the little crunchy bits in it. Mmm. That's nice, that is. That is unreal. What dry out of 10? Nine out of ten. my favourite stuff. I know I said that. I think all of them are going to be high, even the. Uh, Nine out of ten. Yeah, I'll, I'll say same. Nine. <laughs> so next we've got red velvet. I've never tried red velvet anything, so. Shan's done a this work is on this. It's going to be interesting. One. I don't really know like the difference between red velvet and just normal cookie dough. It tastes the same. Mmm. Good though. Yeah, it just tastes like normal cookie dough, but as I said. Cookie dough is just unreal as a dessert. Nine out of ten again. That's like eight and a half, but it's still really nice. Moving on to milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm actually excited, sorry. Classic. Mm -hmm. Classic cookie dough. Lovely. That's just like a classic cookie dough. Like you can add chocolate sauce, you can add ice cream. Whatever you want. Out of ten. I'm going to give that a ten. What is a ten? Ten out of ten. Mm. And then we're going to try triple chalk. Mm. Mm. So Oak likes the What's chocolate funfetti sprinkles one. And then my favourite is probably the triple chalk, which is weird because I don't usually like, like over the Too top chocolate. chocolate stuff. That is unreal. Very mm. nice. So we're going to dish the rest of this out to the fan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you to Gookie Dough for sending that out. So we don't forget to use my code SHANNON10. To save ten percent off your order. Hi guys, it's Sunday night and I haven't vlogged today. I'm the worst vlogger in the whole world, but I've literally done nothing, so I didn't really want to show you me doing nothing. But Shan just sent me a TikTok and oh, is it life changing? It's absolutely life changing. It's life changing. So if you love juicy drop pops like me. This is going to blow your mind as much as it blew mine. So, does anybody else eat their juicy drops like this? So you take the lolly out, pretend it's got the wrapper off because I don't want to eat it yet. But you just squeeze that on there like that and just eat your lolly. You've been doing it wrong, guys. I've had these for years and I didn't know this trick. So basically, you have this and you have to like pull that. It is harder to do the first time, but I've already pulled it off just to test it. But you pull that really hard so it snaps off. And then you take out the little juice packet like this 
and then you squeeze it on like that. Has anybody else struggled when it was in there? You'd have to squeeze really hard and you thought you was leaving some in the bottle and then was sad about it. You can get every drop out with that. I'm um, just... That has made my day. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Any input, Oak? No. <laughs> Oak doesn't understand the juicy drop pop love. Yeah, I just thought I had to share that with you all. So shout out to Shan for sending me that TikTok. But other than that, that is the weekend vlog complete. Sorry I didn't vlog today. I've literally done nothing. Like, absolutely nothing except for life in bed. And what I've actually done today. Edited a video. And that's it. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. So bye, Oak. Bye. Bye.